this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to take this empty spaghetti sauce jar and turn it into a beautiful container. So, let's get started. So I want to challenge myself to use some of my thin ribbon. I've got scraps of ribbon and um, like this is just a, a little bit of ribbon, but I figured I can use it for something else, so why not use it to de decorate my jar? I also have some jute twine, so I thought this would be a nice mix, kind of fluctuating and making some kind of pattern um, using both the uh, lace ribbon and the jute. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to be using some Mod Podge to adhere my twine and my, my lace ribbon to the container. And so you want to make sure that you just kind of cut several layers of this, depending on how many you want. So I'm going to cut several of these. So I figure I'd create some kind of pattern. I haven't really figured this out all the way, so we'll just kind of be um, learning together. See, we got one, two, three. We've got this longer one. Let me cut that down. I think lace is a really good way to decorate your jars. Also, if you have like a bottle container that you want to, you can use the same, this same idea and use it on the, on the bottle. Okay, that's going to be good because I could get more than one. I can get a couple of rows out of this. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. And I don't want to be thinking about this too much. So you just have to think about where you want your lace. So I'm going to do several rows of this. Okay, so I'm going to start with this first, putting on our lace. And the nice thing about the Mod Podge is that it's going to allow the uh, ribbon to really adhere well, and as well as the jute twine. And it'll dry clear, so you won't really be able to see much of anything on there. So I'm just taking it in rows. And you can imagine the amount of patterns that you can create with this. You can take like a, um, I was thinking about something like a black lace and putting it around and making something real pretty. I don't know, I'm thinking black lace container with um, some red roses coming out of it. I don't know, for some reason I just have that picture in my head. Okay, and right now this is just kind of bent over a little bit You see how that is it's got an imperfection on that that ribbon but that's okay I'm just gonna kind of pull this together until it sticks real good and so that's what it looks like so far and I'm just gonna kind of work my way up so I'll probably I'm gonna do another row of lace This is going to have kind of a, I guess it, you would have, this would be kind of a shabby chic look. I'm just trying to find my beginning here. And this is super easy to do. Especially if you have those ragu containers or those uh, spaghetti sauce containers. And I'm not going to worry about this because I am going to put another decoration on here. So you'll see that in a little bit. 
I'm just pulling it kind of tight so it's nice and firm on there. Let's see if I can go up again with this. See, I'm just kind of figuring this out as I go. So this wouldn't work really on around here. Well, right here it would work, but then I need to have some jute going up here. Let's see if that will work. That's going to look pretty. Okay. I don't want to be thinking about this too much. Okay, so let's see where I want to go with this. So I'll go right around where it starts to curve. And I'll make sure I list all of the supplies that you need in the description box below. Look how pretty that's starting to look already. Let you see what that looks like. I'm just holding this together so that it it stays because the the um, lace ribbon actually stretches a little bit. So you can see that's pretty snug on there, and then it actually gives this a certain firmness. I'm already loving this project. You see how that's coming together? And if you don't want to put jute on it, you don't have to. And I'm working, kind of working my way back in the other direction here. Okay. And even if you wanted to, you can mix this with kind of a burlap ribbon also. And I think that would look nice. Come up with whatever pattern you want. This looks like it could be some type of wedding decor as well. It's got a romantic feel to it. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm really loving this. I like that you can like see through it too. Okay, let's see what we got here. Put some right here. And I'm trying to get this one kind of dead center, but if it's not, I'm sure it's going to look just fine. Yeah, you don't want to really stress about that. I think I'm going to need to do more of these ragu containers because I am really loving this. And see if you didn't want that, I actually cut this a little bit too short, but I'm not worried about it because I'm going to decorate something going right down there. Right down this area right here. So I'm not really worried about it, but you may want to cut a little bit longer and overlap it. Okay, and you see I created a little bit of a pattern there. So now I am going to go ahead and add some jute to this. So we'll see how this goes. Start off with some jute on the bottom here.
I know I'm going to have a bunch of you saving your, just another thing to save and upcycle, saving your containers now. Okay, so I'm going to just start unraveling this. And then I'm going to start applying it to this. Well, you know what? I'm going to start right over here, right where I started. So it's basically getting that first row on there. You see how quickly that, how quickly that kind of joins on. And so now all I'm doing is going around and around. And remember, you can use this for this technique for just about any kind of container, even if you have like little small containers, you make a nice display make a matching set also. Okay, I'm losing my ribbon here. All right, so all I'm doing is just kind of pushing it in as I go. So I'm just checking to make sure I've got my stuff kind of tight. But it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be perfect because you want that kind of shabby look to it. So that's the fun thing about this project. And I'm sure you all already are thinking about some projects that you can do using the same technique. And this jute is from the Dollar Tree. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of lay this on here and unravel more of this. And I'm just checking to see if I have everything kind of pushing it together a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to continue around this and I'll come back and show you what that first layer looks like. Okay, so this is what we have at the bottom. And you notice it's not super neat. It's kind of got a little bit of a rustic thing going on there. And I'm going to put some in between here also. But I want to show you how I would start off the top if you, if you decide you want to decorate the top also. So what I would do is just kind of start, you need some glue to do it, right? It's going to start off in that very top part there. And that bottom part is still drying, so I'm kind of trying to be a little bit more careful with that and not to touch it. So I'm just starting with that very top part there. And then I'll work my way down. You see how easy this is? And if you miss some spots, you can just go back and just overlap. Don't be afraid to overlap with this. And they had some kind of a reddish, burgundy-ish jute twine at Dollar Tree. And they also had one that was, um, I'm trying to think, it was like a, uh, almost like a hunter green color. And if you have the time and patience, you can make the whole thing just be a, cover the whole jar with uh, jute twine. So let me just show you what that looks like. So this is how I started it off. And you see there's some spaces that I didn't do there. So if you want yours super neat, then you just, and you want to go exact row, you know, going down, you can. But I'm just going to be kind of. Not so neat with mine. 
And so I'm going to just keep doing this and going all the way around with it until I get all the way down to here. And then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is how the top part looks. So we've got jute on the bottom and jute twine on the top. And so I was just thinking, you know what? I still have more lace and I really like the way that lace looks with the see-through. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off with more lace. But you can mix it up if you want. And sometimes, you know, you see something and then you're like, mm, you know what, I wanna do a little bit more, a little bit less. And now that I'm really looking at it, I want to add more lace on this. But I can really see this as a matching set of like three for some reason. Put a pretty bouquet in there. I think that will look nice. So I'm going to go all the way around here and fill all of this up with lace. And if you don't want to have the jute on there, you can just do all of the, the ribbon. And I always pick up this style of ribbon um, whenever I go to, uh, this is Dollar Tree. So whenever I go to Dollar Tree, I always, if they have any in stock, because it's very popular, I always try to pick up one or two. Okay, and I'm just going to add that in, and it does overlap a little bit, and that's okay. So I am really loving the way this looks. This will look nice um, sitting in maybe your bathroom, put some cotton balls in it too. All kinds of stuff. You let me know in the um, comments below how you would use this because this is just super cute. Put a candle inside and you could just kind of see right through the candle, I mean through the lace. I think that would be pretty. Alrighty, we are almost there. And that looks really pretty. I kind of like the way this overlaps. Kind of gives it another dimension. And this fits perfect on here. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's an idea that I had. I've got these flowers and you've probably seen me, if you've seen some of my other videos, you've probably seen me use these. I'm going to pull these off. And let's see, I need a couple of these. And I'm going to pull out this little middle section here. These are my Dollar Tree fall flowers. I'm going to grab my glue gun. And right where I have that seam in there, um, right here where that opening is, I'm going to just put that on there. And I only want the ones that have that burlap look to it. Let's see, I'm going to put another one right there. So I'm just kind of overlapping it just a little bit, you see? So I'm gonna, let's go ahead and put this on here and then put it on the flower. So I'll put the flower on. So I'm just going right down there just to add something else in. And I'm already, right now I'm smiling because I already love the way it looks. See, we'll put that one on top of that. 
Okay, I'm really liking this. I got strings of glue here. And this, these flowers have like a little, it's like a burlap flower. So it's perfect for this look. Okay, just like this. And look how super easy this is. Do you not, could you imagine the amount of different ideas you can come up with for something like this? Different color combinations. And who would know that this is a ragu jar? Look how pretty that is. Now I'm gonna do something else using one of my favorite things to use. I'm gonna add some pearls to it. Right in the center. So, because I feel like it needs something right in there. So let's go ahead and add some pearls to that. And I have to just see what size. I don't want them to be too big. And if you haven't seen these before, I've got a ton of pearls. Look how many these are. I will post these below too, because I always use them in my crafting projects. So I'm just gonna use um, my art glitter glue and it dries clear and it dries quick. So I'm gonna use that to put my, add some pearls on here. Isn't this a fun project? Okay, so let's go ahead and put our pearls in here. And these pearls have different sizes. So that's the other thing that's pretty cool about them is that there's different sizes you can use depending on the project. So I think I, I bought these earlier this year and I know I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna finish these. These will last a while. Hold that on there a little bit. I love it, putting the flowers this way. If you want, you can put some around, just going around the bottle too, or the jar. It's just up to you, you can do this on a wine bottle. So you can use the same technique using different types of things. So you don't always have to have flowers coming out of the top. You can always have flowers coming out on the sides. It's your creation, so it's up to you. And I am really, oh my goodness, I'm loving this. Isn't that adorable? And so I think I'm gonna just go around here with a few pearls. Let me just see what that looks like. Just go around the top here a few of those yeah I think I'll I think I'll do that I'm having fun I am having fun here I've got a lot of pearls and I'm not afraid to use them because we could be holding on holding on to stuff and it's like just might as well just go ahead and use them Let's see if I can space these out sort of evenly. We will see. In case you're wondering about this tool, it's the uh, We Are Memory Keepers Quick Stick tool and I will put the link because so many of you this is actually the number one tool that all of you ask me about is this quick stick tool so I will put a link uh, in the description box below but I absolutely love this tool and look it just worked out fine it spaced out perfectly on here that and you can really get fancy with these pearls on here and look how pretty that is and I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom part and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like okay so our jar is all done and no one will know that it was a spaghetti sauce jar it makes a perfect gift 
If you want to add flowers to it, you can. Um, if you want to keep it in your uh, restroom, I think it'll be really pretty. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but leave a comment below. Let me know how you would use this. I'm thinking of filling it with cotton balls and putting it in my, um, my bathroom. But I think this is just adorable. And it's super easy to do. Okay, so I hope you were inspired by this project. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you real soon. Bye.